Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through uh, just a quick feature that's pretty nice, the mirror feature. Um, and what's going to do, it's going to help us do uh, this little cutout here. You see this little cutout that we have, this little ridge trim line. Uh, it may be easily more seen if I hover over this and turn it red. You can see the little cutout, right? Well, I need one on the other side. And I could go through and I could draw a rectangle. You know, it would be very simple for me to say perhaps draw a work plane over here and do my rectangle and then extrude it inward, but there's an easier way. Okay, and it goes like this. Um, the mirror tool, which is, uh, which is up here, okay, the mirror tool allows me to copy a feature, okay? And so first it asks me to select the feature. So I want to do this little cutout here. And then second, it asks me, I click over here, and it asks me to select the work plane. Well, the problem is this. If I select like this as the work plane, notice that what it did is it tried to place it like up above, right? So the mirror is halfway between the feature that I want and where it's going to be placed. Uh, if you notice that, then the problem would be then like if I choose this as a work plane, it's way too far out. Um, that's not going to work, is it? If I, uh, if I choose this as a work plane, Oh man, it's it's just, whoops, hold on, postpone that. Don't want to restart my machine right now. See, that's not far enough, right? Really, what I need is a work plane that goes right down the middle, right? So I'm not ready to do this mirror feature yet until I have a work plane that's going to be usable. So let's go up and let's place a work plane. It's right here, the drop down box. Uh, I can do an offset plane. I can do all kinds of things. In fact, in this class, we're going to learn how to do all this stuff, okay, eventually. But for now, let's do mid plane, halfway between two parallel planes. How about this? Let's choose this plane as one of them. And this plane is the other. And look, it creates that mirror plane right down the center. That's going to be pretty important for us, by the way, later on when we build our train in this class. So now that I have that work plane in the middle, I can come over here back to the mirror tool. And I can say I want to extrude this feature my mirror plane that I want to use is this guy right here and look it shows you a little preview that's where the cutouts going to be I click OK check that out it's already done so that's a pretty slick little way to do that little cutout that trim piece uh, before you finish here though let's go over here and let's go to this work plane let's right click and let's uncheck visibility that just makes it not visible okay and so that means if you're to this point really uh, all you have left is the little t9 here which i'll show you in the next video how to do text and then just emboss it it's really simple uh, it'll take like two minutes to show you